roads do not look the same anymore. Today, with the millions of vehicles on them, they are almost like a struggle to be on. Add to that the facts related to the hazards on the roads. But diseases can be avoided or cured by science. Wars can be banned. But roads cannot be shut down, nor can vehicles be banned. There is still hope if we drive better. Every government in the world issues a license to drive to people who wish to drive automobiles. It's time now to realize that a driving license is more than just a right to drive. A driving license puts on you a responsibility to drive well and drive safely. Thanks to poorly managed licensing centers, unmanageable crowds, even corruption, and above all, poor testing procedures, licenses have, in a way, become just a right to drive. How well you drive being immaterial. Government of India decided to bring about a revolutionary change in the issuance of official documents to people with its e-governance plans, close on the heels of the efficient Aadhaar card enrollment and the comfortable passport seva kendras. The government decided to streamline and metamorphosize the process of issuing a driver's license. To establish the case in point, let us look at one such new age driver's license issuing center. The government of Punjab, along with the technical support from Smart Chips, a BU of Morpho India, has set up and are running the automated driving test track and licensing center in the city of Bhatinda. And now, getting a license not only becomes an extremely easy and smooth process, but every care is taken to ensure transparency and diligence in testing the driver's ability to take the responsibility of a driver's license. The process starts with the application to apply for a learner's license when you visit the centre. Once your application has been filed, you are directed to the fee payment counter. Next, you undergo a diligent medical examination to check if you are healthy enough to drive like eyesight, color blindness, motor reflexes and a blood test for sugar and anemia etc. Once you are through with the medical examination, you arrive for the written test which you take online on tablets. After passing the written test, your biometrics are captured, your photo is clicked and your learner's license is issued to you. A learner's license allows you to undergo training and practice your driving. This you can do on your own with an L-shaped symbol marked on your vehicle. The Punjab government has also tied up with Maruti Suzuki India to run a driver's training centre at the same premise. The training includes theoretical lectures as well as hands-on training on an almost lifelike simulator. Once you are a comfortable driver on the simulator, you can practice your skills on the road. 30 days is the minimum period of learning after which you can revisit the centre and apply for a driving test. Now comes the automated test of your driving abilities. For two-wheelers, you go through a serpentine track. If you stop or have to touch the ground with your feet or cross the white line boundary, then you fail the test. To drive a two-wheeler, the uh basic objectivity is to check the stability of the vehicle. So we have given a shape of double eight in a sort so that when a vehicle is being moved and it crosses the circle, I can know that whether the vehicle is being stable or not. So that is why the width is being shortened as well as a double eight is being maintained so that whenever the vehicle moves, I capture the motion and in the two wheeler track also there are white lines. Whenever he crosses the white line, my application captures that whether it is being uh, crossing the line or not and according to that, the result will be populated. For four-wheelers, the test consists of four sections. First is the gradient test. You go midway up a gradient and stop. On the green light, you start again. Failure will be if you skid back before moving up. Normally when we go to the hills, Normally what happens when a vehicle goes upward, 
when the brake is applied and the vehicle is stationary, when we again start the vehicle, it comes backward, but it shouldn't. It happens, it leads to the accidents, it leads to the damage of the vehicle, it leads to the damage of the uh, person itself who is driving the vehicle also. Second is the parallel parking test. We all come across such situations so many times. Third is the figure of eight without crossing the white line. The fourth part is the reverse S driving. Each test has an allocated time of 45 seconds. Reversing a vehicle is one of the again most difficult part and one should learn that how to reverse a vehicle and that is being applicable on the road itself. That is why reverse has been, reverse has been developed. The transparency of the testing procedure is evident from the fact that there are cameras recording your every move and if you fail the test then the computer registers your failure. So there is no way you can get away with failure and still get a license. Computers won't consider bribery or emotional manipulation. After your test, your file is forwarded to the licensing officer. On his approval, your license is printed and dispatched to your home. Now you are finally licensed as responsible enough to drive well. And that is as much a convenience to you as it is a relief to other people on the road.